Carlos. Hey. The Kraken. The Kraken, yes, released. In a battery. In a battery rack. How does this all fit together? Well, a few years ago, somebody asked us, hey, is there a way for us to grab all this power supplies and consolidate them into one big power supply? You know, because okay. we all know that there are many types of power supplies out there. And it sounds as something as simple as that, but it's not that simple. So it took us a few years to kind of come up with the concept. How can we grab eight? 10 power supplies, get rid of them, and replace them with one super brick. So one all reliable. those little bricks under my tank are gone? Yes, with this. correct, correct. So this is the Kraken, and okay. what it can do is it actually has eight 24 volt force ports, what we call, and there's just regular power supplies. Okay. It just grabs eight power supplies from your LEDs, from your skimmer, your return pump, you know, any, anything that you have that is 24 volts, okay. you can grab the power supply, put it in the closet, and then connect it to the Kraken, and it'll feed from a super, we call it a super brick, yeah. but it's actually a Meanwell industrial grade power supply. It's 20 amps, and it can do up to 480 watts. Ah, so we're way underutilizing it. Yes. With these poor ports here that we're getting rid of. Mm -hmm. And all those bricks are gone, all that rat's nest of cords. Exactly, well not only that, it's, it's, you, you know how it is, putting those bricks, if you don't use the wrong, the, if you use the incorrect duct tape or the double-sided tape, yeah. they, they fall on the sump or yeah. they, you know, they, the heat and all this other stuff, you know, let's not deal with that. We have an industrial, as you can see, they come with brackets, you yeah, know, yeah. mount it, don't put it on the floor, you know, the yeah, usual yeah. thing. But yeah, 480 watts, 20 amps, it connects to this device and it feeds your, it could also feed almost your entire tank. Okay. Your entire tank. So, I mean, LEDs, any LED on the market? Most LEDs, yeah. There are some LEDs that are 36 volts out there. Okay. So just make sure that when you do decide to use the Kraken, just look at the power brick. It says output, and it should say 24 volts. Okay. If it says 24 volts, you're safe. So this is like a BNC looking type of connector. Correct. And what? it's just going to, it goes to a cable that has a male 5.5 milliliter by 2.1 milliliter barrel, okay. which is what your regular light expects from the power supply. Okay, yeah. so, right. that's so it works with anything. Then. Exactly. In addition to that, you actually have another t four drive ports, and those are 12 volts. So anything like a small ATO, some LED lights, like the under cabinet, mm -hmm. they're 12 volts. So why can't we just use the same power supply, yeah. you know, and put them in there? Again, getting rid of another set of, power, of, of bricks. Right. So now you're getting rid of 12 bricks all in one. So 12 bricks are gone from underneath my tank. Exactly. So then what the heck is with this battery <laughs> that's sitting plugged into this? So one of the things that Hydro's that we wanted to do is we wanted to open it up so people could use what they want. Because one battery doesn't fit all. Mm -hmm. If you have a small tank, then a small battery like an ice cap battery, 2.5 amp hours, will work. Okay. But if you have a large system, that little battery is not going to make much of a difference. Okay. So I should be able to purchase a battery that fits my system and use it. So most other controllers, they don't allow you that. Okay. So what we wanted to do is open it up. We're not a battery company. We're not gonna sell the batteries, but you can go to Amazon and purchase this battery, which is 20 amp hours, you know? Yeah. I think it's about $60. Okay. Or you can purchase some, if you have a bigger tank, you can get 75 amp hours or 100 amp hours for over just a little over $100. I mean, I could get a car battery if I wanted. Exactly, the only, the only caveat, it has to be lead, um, it has to be lead acid. So any kind of lead acid battery. Any kind work. of lead acid. It cannot be lithium ion because that's not going to work. Okay. Right? And what the beauty about it is that you connect it to this 12 volt battery port in here. Here. So when the battery, when the when the power goes out, yeah. the Kraken will automatically pull power from the battery. When the power comes back on, then the Kraken will trickle charge the battery back. It's the charger as well. Mm -hmm. It's the charger as I mean, well. I guess so. You got the driver. So power goes out. Does it send power to everything? Well, that's up to you. That's what okay. makes hydros the best thing because you could actually say, okay, when the power goes out, yeah. turn on outlet force port six, seven, turn off everything else. Okay. You know, and that's how it works. And we can actually give you an example of how to do it. Yeah, do it. All right, so let me, I'm gonna step out of frame in here and I'm gonna unplug them. Unplug. Now it's gonna take a few seconds because the power supply does hold it's a got little bit. It's there. got sure. a capacitor inside, but it give, you, give, it, give it a few seconds. And then what will happen is, boom, shuts off. And now you can see the Kraken and all the other control devices, they're all on backup battery. 
Okay. So even the control devices, if I try to connect to them through Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is still up. It's still running. The Wi-Fi chip is still running in the here. Pumps and are running look at in this. Here. So now the skimmer turned off. The light turned off. Because you don't need it. Yeah. But, but the, the two octopulse pumps right here are. So would I also get an alert out absolutely. of my software that this is now running off battery back? Absolutely. Absolutely. You actually create a, a mode within the hydros called low power mode. Okay. And then on that low power mode, you tell it exactly what you want. You tell it what speed you want to run the pumps and what you want to turn off. Because again, wow. one size doesn't fit yeah. all. Right, right. You know, 30% for a small tank is plenty, but for a big tank, it may not be enough. Right. So at that point, then you have the battery. It's going to be, there's two pumps right now, an Octopulse 4 and an Octopulse 2 are drawing about four watts which on a 20 amp hour, if you do the math, I think it comes out to just about 80 hours. 80 hours. 80 hours. So your house is gonna get hot or cold before then. Something of else course. is gonna happen. Hopefully you come home. Yes. But you got an alert for this. So if I had a bigger battery, especially if I'm running these slow. Yes. So it can even run my return pump. It could run the return pump as well. It, it depends on how much you can draw in there and, and it all depends on the return pump. Okay. But again, you're just, the important thing is to get that flow into your tank. Right. So oxygen, you know, right. it takes a little while for the heat, but the oxygen is what goes down real quick. So while it's running as, it, everything's running as it should, I've gotten rid of 12 power bricks. Exactly. I hook up a lead acid battery of whatever size I want, size mm -hmm. my tank. When something goes wrong, this takes over exactly. and keeps it rolling. And as, as I said before, this Kraken through the battery is still powering the control four and the wave engine. So if you have pH, temperature, and any type of sensor, they're still working. Still going. They're still going. And if you have your router and access point or modem on a regular backup battery, yeah. then you technically your entire house could be out, but your tank is running on battery and you can still access it through your phone. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. All right, I gotta hand it to you guys. I mean, you've come a long way in a short amount of time, yes. innovating stuff, bringing stuff in like this to give people choice. I'm impressed. I gotta get my hands Thank on you. one now and give it a whirl. It's Thank full you. game on. Yes, it is, it is. You know, the thing about it is we've actually had this for a few years, a couple of years, but with COVID chips, it's been so difficult to get the stuff out. And we read the forums and people are asking for it and we can't say anything about it, yeah. yet we have everything. And we have more things in the pipeline that we can't say anything about. But any, we any are- hints? No, I can't. No one gives me any hints ever. <laughs> they, you think I'm special? I'm not. I don't get to find these things out early. Yeah, but we are definitely listening. Okay. We're I get tells with this, so I got to give it a whirl. I'll get my hands on it and go Thank for it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Carla. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody.